Welcome to the Greeting Farm. I am Jill with Jill Cameron Creations and today we're going to be doing some purple hair. Don't care. We're going to use the stamp set Cool Couple and I am the, her curly hair is just absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to color it purple. I have purple hair and I absolutely love purple hair. Of course you can do this with absolutely any hair color that you want to. I just happen to really like purple hair. When I color people stamps, I always start with my skin tone and go ahead and do that first. And then I'll color in the clothes. I used blacks and blues for my clothing here just to keep it really simple because the star of the show is really her hair in this stamp. We're going to keep the background really simple as well. So this stamp has rows of curls in her hair. So I wanted to make sure that those rows of curls really, really stayed accentuated in this. I am using B66 and B63 and V17 and V15. I'm doing teeny tiny little strokes from the outer edge towards the center of the curl line. Itty bitty teeny tiny little short strokes. Now the best part of this is you can do this with any hair color that you want to do it with. If you want to do black hair or brown hair or even green, teal, blue, whatever color hair you want to do this with, you can use this method. I recommend that you have four different tones of color when you do this. Um, if you're going to do like more of a natural hair color, you can use that same series like the E20s or the E50s or the E70s, and that series of colors will be absolutely fantastic. However, if you're going to do like a fun color like a purple, I recommend that you have one that is a little bit darker, a set of two that's darker that you're going to use on that outer edge and a set of two that's a little bit lighter to put on the center of it. That way you get that tone of that looks like that shine in the middle. And that's how I got that. I have that the B60 colors are a little bit darker than the V colors. And it really brings out the center of it and looks like it's a big, huge shine in the middle of her curl there. And it's just itty bitty, teeny tiny strokes repeatedly over the whole entire curl row. And I didn't really vary the length of them too much because I really wanted that shine in the middle there. Uh, I, you know, it took me, this is really, really, really sped up. And it took me probably about 45 minutes to color her hair like this. And I tried several different methods before I colored it. And uh, this is my favorite, uh, absolutely favorite. I loved doing this. Absolutely so much fun. And like I said, we're going to keep the rest of the card really simple. And uh, we're going to do an ink blended background that I use a uh, cloud stencil and just create a cloud background. And then I used my Silhouette Cameo to cut out the images, including the little flower here and a tree and some border images along the bottom. So super, super quick, adorable card. Well, I can't say that it was quick. <laughs> it did take me a while to color her hair, but it was so relaxing and so much fun to do that. So go and get the stamp set of the cool couple and try that curly hair. It is so much fun. It will, it's definitely a challenge because I have struggled for a long time to color curly hair, but this, I found a method that really worked and I absolutely love it. There's also a little dude in this stamp set, a flower and two sentiments. And I've used the sentiment, I love you boo on this card. And the second one is you're the coolest, but I used love you boo on this one because I actually have a uh, embossing powder that's all nice and shiny and metallic looking that really matched her hair and I just had to do that and you're the coolest just didn't fit this because I put a flower in her hand so the I love you boo really really worked for this so for the rest of the card I'm just going to play a little music and of course at the end of the video some finishing shots of the card completed I hope you really enjoyed this thanks for joining me y'all have a great day